Welcome to our third Family Empowerment Workshop. We're happy that you have taken the time this evening to continue the good work to improve the happiness and health of our families and marriages. Everyone wants to be in a happy and healthy marriage and raise happy and healthy children. Some people seem to be able to do this effortlessly, and others seem to be always struggling. What makes the difference? What are the secrets to having and keeping a happy and healthy marriage and children? We do know some of the answers. This evening's workshop will explore the principles from the book, The Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts by Gary Chapman and his companion books for parenting children and teenagers. My name is Mark Landere. I'm a uh, licensed counselor here in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm joined tonight by Ishmael Muhammad. During our last workshops, we covered the basic principles of the five love languages. The first principle is we all crave love by those who are important to us. When we feel loved regularly, our love tank stays full and we stay content and happy. When we don't feel loved, our love tank empties, leaving us insecure and often irritable. This is true of us adults, but it's also true of our children. Each of us has a primary love language uh, that we can perceive love expressed to us by others. If the significant people in our lives express love in our primary love language, we'll hear it and feel loved. If they express love in a language other than our primary love language, we may miss it and feel unloved. Almost like missing the meaning when we are speaking different languages to each other. So it's best for us to learn what our uh, loved, what our loved one's primary love language is and express love to them regularly and in their language. Gary Chapman has grouped these love languages into five categories. The first is words of affirmation. These are genuine verbal expressions of praise admiration and affection. Another is quality time. This is time together, sharing in activities or conversations with the emphasis on enjoying each other. Another is physical touch, from gentle hugs to playful roughhousing. Another is acts of service. These are the big and little acts that express our care for each other. Another is 
and another is gifts. These are the big and little tokens that express that we're thinking about them and desire to delight them. قلبك قد ما بينه وحواية إن هذه هذا الأشياء هذه دوين يسمى ديار كل لغة بواسكمد هذه أقف كت سيسد إن أقف كت شعيش هاي وقلبي على كسرة قف كت دريم يا شعيلك. In our first workshop, we showed how couples use these principles to improve their relationship and contentment by simply focusing on each other's and the way that they experience love. مارك أنا كل كيني هرا واحد كهذا النيت ذاك سقبا وفاميلياش أساس كت سكران شعيل. أي قضا بدي أن نجا عن صمر نيس يوارك كران أو استعمال كران نلوش ولا سيسكتوا سان هذا لما معنا سيسود عن أشعيلة. In our second workshop, we showed how these principles apply to our younger children, helping parents help their kids grow and mature in healthy ways. كل إن كان اللباد أو حد يراه وحين تسينا والدين تي عروت سيسكتوا دقمان. مركو والدين تو حيالاش يسمين كران سيعروت وسيف عن الله دقمان. After our last workshop, we got lots of comments and questions from our workshop participants on how to apply these principles to their current problems. One mother asked how to handle a common situation where her kids are causing a commotion in the grocery store where they beg and plead for more toys and candy. إلهلم ويدي عنو جيا وحو بهنا وقيلن هي مركا دبي كدرين تمام ذا سوبت أكو تروح وح بذن بويديني مام ذا أيه وذن. This was a kind mom who wanted to please her kids, but their behavior was annoying and embarrassing her. They would not take her no to be no, and continue to pester her until she gave in or left the store. مركا هو يلا وح أيه هو يروتي عروتي إني كفر حسوا. لكن سوى حواية عروت وين مقل وين هذا الكذا أيضا وين لبسة عروت سوى دقمين مركب مركب ما يتري ما يقادم وين أو وين لبسة ذين إلا إنتو كان كبر حيس أو خاصة دنتو. As we talked, this mom admitted she tried lots of things to get her kids to behave and found out what seems to work for her is to tell her kids ahead of time that they may have only one item of a very low value. سأوضع هذا اللي ما مضى واحد قرتي عروت ربتي إني كفر حسوا. واحد مركز كرة عليه واحد وياه إني وش شكت عروت كهر أنت تكان كتجين إني هل واحد كذا كران أو رخيص أه سيوجت هم مركز أو هريس. Yeah, this mom decided on twenty five cents, but it could be any small amount. Her rule was that they could buy whatever they want with this cash, but if they caused a commotion, they would leave the store with no one would get their cash and the gift. She told she told us that her kids tested her resolve and quickly found that she was serious and consistent. And soon learn to behave to get their gift. How yada marka wahi iskurali wahi laba tin sh laba tin shen cent ini si sabi iskurali marka wahi laba tin shen cent lag badan nama aha. Lakin sa wahi wa muhim bi wahi aruti ini bertan example kan wa laba tin shen cent ya ini sifah anu istamalan. Hadi ay istamali wahi laba tin shen cent ya ini tu kan kalau bahi wakuf nuah wakhelin. This mom told us that since she was she has started doing this consistently, her kids are much more content. And that they get, and she never has to raise her voice or punish them. Mama, I'm not quite fancy. What Hawaii? Mama, I'm not quite fancy. What Hawaii? Had the ice cream day the color can. I wrote it at the front scene. The bag and the common knock to or had a kid with a ran. In the end, out there, cook it. Some how I cook it. I wrote it or had a kid with a ran. This illustrates one of the principles of our last workshop. This mom expected her kids to be kids, but encouraged them to ask, act responsibly. Not to punish them or in any way taking away love or rejecting them. Instead, she arranged the rules so they so that they are rewarded for responsible behavior, encouraging self-control and maturity. Marka qadab kaan wuxu ka halay waa wuxu qadab di kula kani hara awal aragni wa kimi diha maamadan inni aruti da magaraa isu gaanu maqadi isu wuxu tusiisa si fudud inni adab u barta iyo ilalin. Marka waa wuxu ayi sharayasha bi udish si si ayi isku maqalan si fana hadal kuu kala qataan da biadoon u ilalin karaan ayga. Tonight's workshop will continue this, this discussion of parenting as we explore these principles as they apply to helping our teenage kids through those difficult teen years to be healthy, mature young adults. <laughs> Many of us remember how difficult our adolescence was. I know I certainly do. Teen years are about transitions, changes, and challenges. Transitions from child to adult, transitions from dependent to independence. 
uh, changes in their bodies as they cope with new urges and drives, feeling awkward or clumsy as their bodies grow in, in confusing ways. Marka waxa ay soo badan ay kulliyan buu xasuus ka na marka dhalinyarada waqtigan ay ahayd ana ay kulliyan buu dareensanahay daada dhalinyarada isbeddelo badan baa ku jira oo kamid yahay qofka inuu korayo dhalinyarnimo inuu korayo qof qaan gaar ah noqonayo qofka inuu ka baxay qof la caawinay marka hor hadda noqoy qof isku filan marka jirkooda isbeddelo weyn baa ku dhacay oo waxyaar yar bay u baahiyeen dareemo soo galaya marka waxa way dareemadaas dhan baa laga wada hadlaya wada hadalkeena kulankan this time signals growth in their mental cap uh, capabilities as they begin to learn to reason and wrestle with more abstract concepts like honesty, loyalty, justice, and self-identity in relationship to their peers and to the world. This is a time when kids begin to question their personal, family, and cultural morals and values. marka waqtiga aan isbeddelo badan baa ku dhacaya kuritaan maskaxda oo xitaa isbeddel weyn baa ku dhacaya waxay baranayaan dhaqamada oo qofka inuu daacad yahay qofka inuu hadal dadka hadalkood maqlayo inuu asaga bini aadamnimo iyo qiimo isku leeyahay dadka kale soo dhaqmo marka waqti waxa ay muhiim ah waqtiga aan qofka inuu xitaa su'aalo noloshooda xitaa iyo qoyskooda iyo cidiga socdaan su'aalo badan ma xitaa is weydiiyaan ayaga noloshooda and all of these changes and challenges are happening as they become more influenced by their peers by the local culture and even global media not all of these influences are healthy and wholesome i assure you marka isbeddelada aan badan waxyaalayaal badan isbeddel keenaya oo kamid yahay dadka ay saaxiibadood ba isbeddel u keeni kara meesha ay degan yihiin dhaqanka meesha ay isbeddel u keeni kara hadii xitaa media ay daawadaan isbeddel badan oo waxas dhan marka saameyn bay ku leeyihiin caruurta kulliyan wax fiican maaha marka quuhumna waxyaalayaal xumaan ay ku jirta Reachers, researchers point to two developmental periods when conflict with parents is heightened this first is age two to three, commonly known as the terrible twos. And the second period is around 13 to 14 years old. The common theme behind this conflict at both ages is struggle for independence. This struggle for independence is at the heart of this conflict. Parents' response to this struggle sets the tone for their teens, growth, to be healthy, responsible young adults. Marka baritaanka dadka markay baritaan sameeyeen waxa ay arkeen laba waqti ugu muhiimsan markii dhalinyarada ka soo koreeyaan. Waqti ugu horeeyay waxa way laba sano jir ilaa saddex sano jir ma ku galeeyo. Waqtiyaas waxa la dhahaa labada isku xigta waaye. Waqti waxa way adag, mid labaadna waxa way saddex iyo toban ilaa afar iyo toban. Marka labadaas waqtiga isbeddelka ugu daran waxa way arurtii waxa rabaan in ay isku filnaadaan goonida u istaagaan, laakiin sad dhib bay ku tahay. Marka waxa way dhib badan ayagii waalidkii ba isku dhacay aadiyaa sababta ay ku tahay waqtigaas ba ciriir ku ah arurta. marka waxa way waalidka marka soo ururo dhaqma arurta waa muhiim aada unugaas saamayn bay ku lahaanaysa soo u koreeyo more and more we can't control them directly to tell them what to do or what to think it seems like the more we push teens into our way of thinking the more they push back against us and seek their answers from their peers social media or worse marka way sii badanaysa anaga dadka dhalinyarada oo soo koreeya ma ilaalin karno ma control gareen karno hada isku daynana dib badan bay ku noqonaysa sababta ay ku tahay hada sii riixno unugu sii fogaanaya haduu sii fogaadana wuxuu saaxiibadiis iyo dadka dhaqankooda dadka dhaqamadooda kale dadka qaadanaya soo waalidka amal ugu durko Gary Chapman reminds us that kids this age will be making decisions on morals values and beliefs for themselves that is what they do we can't really stop or control this but if we're smart we can stay plugged in with parental influence gear chamban wuxuna xasuusinaya aruurta da'da ma kay jiraan ayaga decision kooda gaaraya oo ayaga decision bay leeyihiin dhaqamadooda iyo dabcadoodaba marka waxaas bay sameeyaan anaga ma ilaalin karno ma control gareen karno laakiin sadaa anaga maskax leenahay wa la socodna xaaladooda si ay u koraya one way to think of this period in our child's life is that it's teens jobs to struggle for independence they naturally will test limits and they seek friends and guidance beyond the family it is their job to question everything including our values and beliefs marka hal wado oo loo fiirin karo waqtigan waxa waye anigu marku da'aas leeyahay wuxuu rabaa inuu isku filnaado asoo goonu u istaago marka isku dayaan inay saaxiibadu raacaan dad kale ay raacaan hadalkooda marka waqti waxa way adag oo anagan waa inaan shaqadan ilaalno oo cunug ilaalno dabcadiisa iyo la socodna xaaladiisa it is therefore our job to help them find good answers for themselves. That all may sound good, but how do we stay plugged into their decision making? How do we make and maintain our parental influence? If if we can't control them directly, how do we help them grow to be healthy, mature young adults? Marka waxaan dhan ba wax fiican waaye, laakiin sidii ba unuga xaaladiisa ula socon karna nolosha isla markuu decision gaarayo. 
marka waxa waa ina muhiim waa anaga waalidkeena ina caruurta damlaan in isbedelno oo la shaqeeyna xaaladooda hadaa anaga ilaalin karin sidee kale baa ula dhaqmi karnaa oo caruur oo fiican korin karnaa oo faraxsan Well, the good news is researchers tell us that teenagers continue to view their parents as the most important influence on their important decisions. They may take their decisions to their peers with hairstyles, clothes, maybe dating, but teens still report looking to parents to guide them in careers, college, and how they see themselves in the world. Our teens tell researchers that their parents are still the most important influencers We're still relevant. Marka waa hay baarita marka lugu samayi waa hal ugaad dalayno soo kariya ina walidin tod ugu kima badiin ugu kima yaan. Laga yaab ina sahibood maqlan waa hayalay shafat fuud oo mahaan darhirta iyo timaha isa ka diga. Lakin se walidin tii ugu kima yaan. Hadal ku uwi ina walid ka qatan. Marka waa hay chaamal la adi misu waa barasho misu waa hasku sabsan. Marka waa hay marka lugu dii dalayno soo kariya waa hayalay kulli walidin tii ana walidin tii hadal ku ugu kima yaan. Marka anaga walidin ta boswiin baamay shan kalaan hay. One. A uh, key Gary Chapman recommends is to create an atmosphere of acceptance. Marka hal qodob oo weyn oo Gary Chapman keenay waxa ka mid ah in la sameeyo meel xaalad ah oo la aqbalayo oo qof kasta is qaadanaya dadka aqbal is aqbalaya bin aadnimadooda. Before we talk about acceptance though, let's talk briefly about its opposite, rejection. The message of rejection is a statement or action that signals to the teen, I don't like who you are. You're not good enough for me. Or I wish you were different. Marka inta an kahalin aqbali tanka yawa la shaqeyinta marka wara kahalal no karatayi tanka misi diri tanka. Marka dalina da kasi ubedeyin hadal ladu ubedeyin wa hakam mida hadal ka ushiagi unuga ana yuko marrabo yi mufi ganda diga qofka la ina igiddu wana ha ta rabi laha. A teen who experiences rejection from parents obviously feels unloved. Researchers who study teens have concluded that kids who experience rejection by parents are at heightened risk for many psychological and behavioral problems, including low self-esteem, deficient moral development, difficulties with aggression and handling others' aggression, and confused sexual identity. Marka dadka dalinyarada oo soo koriya marka baaritaan lagu sameeyo waxa la ogaaday waalidintooda jacayl ma tusin. Marka marka la arkay caruurta dhib badan wuxuu ka haysaa dabeecadi maskaxda dhibiyo ku geysan kara dabeecadi sa xumaan ka iman karta asaga dhan badalayn kiisa asaga isma jecla wa dabeecadi isma ku ma ilaalin karo xanaaqo si fudud buu xanaaqiyaa marka wax yeelaysha badan ba waxaan keenaya laga yaabaa waalidka inuu jecel soo soo wada yara a very common objection we get from parents is i don't really want my feel i don't really want my teen to feel rejected but frankly i don't like them when they engage in that behavior Maybe I'm rejecting them, but in my heart, that's not what I feel. I just want them to de not to destroy their lives. Marka waalidinta wax weyn hada la kahe na marka sta waa kama la waa waa anu gigi aniga waa chaalaha iyo man naayo, lakin si mar raba inu daqamadan hunhun ku soo iska daafara ba. Marka naayib iga ma aha lakin si waa waa inu isku bedelaa raba oo amal isbedelu nuluus si maayara ba. This parent makes an important important point. We want to guide our kids into right behavior. And reject, rejecting them when we disapprove of their behavior seems like a good way to correct them. Marka waalidinta wa hadal muhiim ekeenin wa kaasna waxa waya aruurta anaga waxa runa ina aawunna wa dada saxda ehelaan. Lakin sa aruurta da maya kudda hayna waxa ya leyaash anaya kusur chenno wa wax sax wa waxa waya unuga yitu sisa inu waxan khala di hay. So this leaves us with a dilemma. How do we correct the behavior without rejecting the kid? marka waa su'aal weyn oo lagu fakaro bayna siinaysa su'aashan waxa waa sidee aruurta dabeecadoodu saxnaa anagu ayaga diideyno xumeynaa sidee dabeecadoodu saxnaa Gary Chapman suggests a very simple but powerful idea to solve this dilemma separate the acceptance of the kid from the acceptance of the behavior marka Gary Chapman wuxuu keenay jawaab fiican oo dhibkaan haysta kaasna waxa waa kala saar ina unuga aqbashid asaga bina aadnimadiisa He suggests creating an atmosphere where parents say something like, "I love you, I care about you, I'm committed to you because you're my child. I don't always like what you do, but I always love you and care about your well-being. You're my son, and I will never reject you. I will always be here, doing what I believe is best for you. I will love you no matter what." marka waxaan sameyn karnaa anaga dhaqan mis dabeecad oo waalidku dhahay san oo kale oo ku jeclahay aad baan ku qiimeeyaa noloshaada aad baan rabaa inaan ugu qayb galo ku caawiyo laakiin sa waxyaalayaal baajira aka soo horjeeda adiga aan sameeyso dabeecad ah 
لكن ولي جت شعيل يو نوافي عم أكسينة يا ويل كي جات هاي ولي جينا كمان نعيو ولي جوا كروت شو يا مشان وانا كنت شعران يا وحكة السماء. Chapman shares some advice on sharing advice with our kids. He suggests that if we want our kids to seriously consider our advice, we can preface it by saying something like, I love you very much. I will love you even if you don't follow my advice. But because I love you, I must give you my advice. Chapman wuxu yiri wax yaalayaashu waalidka ku dhaqmi kara unug waxa ka mid ah inuu qofku waana siiyo waalidka oo ku dhaho amal hadalkan oo kale waan ku jeclahay aadiyad waana ku jeclaanay hadda xitaa hadalkii aan maqli weedid laakiin sababta ku jeclahay anigana waa inaan waana ku siiyo then share your words of wisdom your teenager needs to hear that we accept them even when we don't approve of their behavior adigana waxa way timirkaaga ibn aadan madada waa inaan unug la qaybsatid oo tustid inaad jeceshahay hadii ay xitaa dabeecadiis ay ka soo horjeedid inaad jeceshahay ibn aadan madis a teen who feels loved and accepted even when their behavior is disapproved of is much more likely to learn from their mistakes look uh, for the true consequences of their actions and seek the counsel of their parents these kids will want to be influenced by you unug marka hadii jaceyl aad soo la aqbaro hadii xitaa dabeecad sax qaldan tahay unug waxa way ka soo laabanaya khaladkiisa oo khaladkiisa garanaya oo na raadinaya in wada sax la tuso waalidintiisna uu la qaybsanaya hadalkan oo wuxuu in la caawiyo Another key is pairing independence with responsibility. As we said before, it's a teenager's job to push for independence. Uh, it's natural and in some ways very healthy. We can encourage health and mature growth but we can't just let them do anything they want. They're growing, but they're not mature and self-controlled yet. We have to establish rules or, or boundaries that allows them to grow and gain experience, but limits them to reasonable freedoms. As parents, our job is to establish rules and see that their teens li live responsibly within these boundaries. <laughs> Some might say that if you establish a rule, your teen will just rebel against it. Uh, but what experts say is what causes adolescents to rebel is not the assertion of authority, but the arbitrary use of power with little explanation of the rules and no involvement in decision making. Teens rebel, rebel if they feel like we're dictating over them. مرك هذا بقى واحد ده يعني قار كم بذا هدي شرع اللي ده شيء عنو جو دبسنا يا وشرع ودي ذي يا لكن استدك هو علم جل واحد ده حين دك عروت دبك أوجي يا وعروت تصيني والد كعرام وحاك هنا وحواية هدي عنو جو ودل تسو أو حوق لو شكتو ووح هذا الكيس لما قلنا سو الله فهنسين السبت ووح لو شيء جي أو كده وح أسك قبو وح أسب عروت لني يرد ودي ذي إني هذا والد كل مقلان مرك السبت أسب والد لني يرد دك أو عرام والد كو دبسنا هذا الكوا the key to imposing boundaries for uh, your teenager is to form them with your teen. Wise parents will bring their kids into the rulemaking process, getting their input on reasonable limits and consequences. A teen is much more likely to accept and follow a rule if they had a hand in forming that. And they're much more likely to accept the consequences if they overstep the boundary. مرك مهم قلب أو واحد كمدة واحد وياه مرك الشرع اللي دشنيه واحد ويعنق إن شرع اللي سوقيه وكمدة هتدك قرية شرعية عنق هدي وشرع قرية ونكف رحسنية هذا ونهدو شرع شوي وقاضني أخلت كيس السبب تأكل تهاي السجع شرع كمدة هتدك قرية هدي لكن لا قرأ لبيا كلا إيمان كلا مرك عنق وين السوقيه مرك الشرع اللي دشنيه قيس كا عنق إن السوقيه وشرع قرية تانك وكمدة هاي. For instance, my wife and I used this principle with my daughters when they were about 12 years old. They were complaining a lot about the clothes we were getting them. So we decided to take the money we would have spent to give them uh, and gave it to them in a monthly allowance. They loved the raise, 
but quickly ran out of money within days of getting their allowance. Marka haski aniga wa isku deyni qodobkan waxaan sameeyay waxa way gab dhaheena waxaan markii jireen 12 markii jireen waxay dhaheen dar ma haysano waxaas dibkaas ay keeneen marka lacagti aan dadka uu gadi lahayn waxa uu gadi lahayn ayagaan siinay si ay u isticmaalaan marka bil gaar ah markii lacagti way ka dhamaatay It took them a few months but they eventually began to learn to plan and save up for what they wanted and we never heard them complain again This not only reduced the conflict in our family, it taught them self-control, maturity, and a, and a responsible relationship with money. Marka waxay qaadatay bilooyin bay qaadatay laakiin way barteen waxay barteen lacag si loo ilaaliyo lacag loo kaydiyo si saxda loo isticmaalo. Marka mar dambe ayo qeylinayo mis dhibsan ma arkin marka waxaan wuxu bari waxa way cunno qofka inuu leeyahay saga masuulnimo oo lacag si fiican u isticmaali karo dhaqankiisana uu si fiican lacag u isticmaali karo. These are not lessons we can simply tell them. They had to learn these for themselves. We simply influenced them with the rules and our acceptance of their decision. We allowed them to make mistakes and live with with their consequences. Marka sharciyashan waxa sagi sheegina ma aha ayaga wa inay bartaan anaga waxa way inaan saamayn ku lahaano oo u waanino oo wada saxda tusno laakiin ayaga waxa way inay qaabilaan oo anagana waxa way inaan cunuga qaabilno marka wa oo galaana inay khalaa sameeyaan ayagana bin aadan waaye waana inay ku nooladaan khalaadka ay sameeyaan ay qaabilaan Chapman has some rules about making rules. First rule is rules should be as few as possible. Second is rules should be as clear as possible. Third is rules should be as fair as possible. Marka Chapman wuxuu dhigay sharciyaasha marka la qoriyo qodobahan ba kamid ah. Ka hor horay waxa way sharciyaasha inay yar yihiin oo labadan. Ka labaad waxa way sharciyaasha inay yihiin kuwa fudud oo la fahmi karo. Ka saddexaad waxa way sharciyaasha inay yihiin kuwa xaq ah oo qofka saxiisa siiya. Chapman also has some rules for consequences. First, consequences should be determined before a violation if at all possible. Second, consequences should be administered with love. And third, consequences should be administered consistently. Marka mid kala baadna waxa way khalad ku cunuga galo sida cunuga amal sharciyiisa loo siinay ama saxmiisa loo ganaaxay amal oo kale la Allah duu xasameeyo. Waxaas waxa ka mid waxa way waa sharciinu mar hor yaalay cunuga markuu khalad sameeyay khalad sharciinu jiray ahayd khaladkan mid kala baad waxa way in si jaceyl oo sharaf loo khaladka loo cunuga loo tuso ka saddexaadna waxa way in si markasta joogta loo sameeyay khaladkaas oo loo saxo cunuga markuu khalad sameeyo For my kids it was important that we allowed them to overspend and not bail them out There was a little drama the first few months when they uh, could not buy what they wanted but we allowed them to feel this minor frustration without our interference they survived and learned quickly marka aroti marka firiyo muhim bay aad inaan u galaado ayaga in lacagta ka dhamaato anaga lacag ma siinin marka markii hore bilooyinkii hore dib bay ahayd laakiin markii dambe ay fahmeen in wax wagadan karin ayaga bartay in dib bay ku ahayd markii hore markii dambe la ku qabsadeen anaga afarahood ma gelin oo u galaanay wayna dhaafin sheekadaas wayna ka soo baxeen And we did not have to correct them or say anything at all. They learned the lesson without a word from us. Sometimes these are the best lessons of all. We simply listen to their frustrations and continue to love them. Anything more or less, they would have likely missed the lesson. Marka anaga ayaga masixin wax ban uma sheegin ayaga. Ayaga bartay sharciga mis fasalka ayaga bartay anaga wax uma sheegin. marka marar waa muhiim aada waa wax barasho muhiim ah qofka in wax loo sheegay marka soo wax ka sala saxin ayaga hadalkooda maqalnay anagana waa jacayl baasi tusnay wax in la weynay ma in la yareeyay ma marka qofka in uu galaato qofka in uu leey xuquuq in uu leeyahay qofka asay gaari kara decision this is the power of natural consequences uh, those corrections that stem from making poor decisions or breaking rules with natural consequences your team feels the correction without your interference Chapman offers some good advice for us when our team fails or makes a big mistake. Marka waxa waa wax muhiim ah oo qodob ah oo dunida dhan ku shaqeeyo. Waxa waa markuu qofka khalad galo uu dareemaya khaladka dhibyaashu keenay. Asagaana ka baranayo cilmi uu tahay waxbarasho uu tahay asaga markuu khalad galo inuu khaladaadkiisa garto dhibki ku lahaayeen. Anagana markasta waalidiin hadaan nahay markasta in aan u sheegno ma khalad ba gashay. Marka Chapman wuxuu ka hadlayaa wax yaryaal waana ah oo qodobooyin muhiim ah oo cunugaaga loo tuso markuu khalad galo. The first uh, suggestion is don't blame yourself. Your team may has made a poor choice and must feel the consequences. If you blame yourself, this consequence moves from their shoulders to yours. You've given them the ability to make choices, you must also allow them to feel the consequences of their choice. This is a vital for them to learn self-control 
and mature to be responsible young adults. Marka qalab ka wuxuu rayay waxa way adiga inaan khalad ka saarin unuga hadduu wax khalad gaaro asaga inuu dareemaal raba dib ka imaan ee khaladkaas marka adiga dambi ha saarin hadda is saartid unuga ka qaaday dib kii ala saaray marka waxa way unuga inuu barto inuu asaga decision gaari karo waa asaga inuu ogolaato waa inuu dareemo khaladaadku gaar inuu asaga dareemo waaye waxa waa muhiim aad unuga soo barto dabcadi soo baraya ilaalinta iyo maxal awaanada buu qaadanaya hadalkiisa uu ilaalin karaa dhaqankiisa second don't preach Preaching, and preaching is unnecessary and deflects your teen's focus from their own guilt to their resentment of your preaching. Uh, they already are getting the message through feeling the consequences of their mistake. Man aha unuga markasta in hadal dheer loo sheego oo markasta sheeka dheer loo galo waxaas dhibbe ku tahay unugana markasta uu dhibsanaya wuuna ka leexanaya sheekadii sababta ay ku tahay unuga hadduu khalad galay khaladka asaga dareemaya markuu khaladaadka dhibka ka imaanay marka waxa way ina oo galaata fiican ina la yareeyo hadalka badan unuga markasta wax loo sheegayo The third suggestion is don't try to fix it when you jump in and remove the consequences you're teaching your kid that they can be irresponsible and someone will fix it for them Instead, we want to teach them to be responsible. I know it can be tough to allow your kid to suffer the consequences of their actions, but this is how kids learn and grow in self-control and maturity. Marka has kudu in wahka sinna sami sit, marka sa sugi shu unuga khalad muku gale as sahid khalad ki, unugu udrem ya waha waya khalad kastu inu gili karo, walid kabana sahaya. Waha sinna waha saha maha marka wa ina u galad unuga inu khalad gale, khalad muku gale na, libi asha ki imani unu dareme waya. Waha nibbi kuta daki ini maqalaan aru ta dinu nib gale, nib kina hadu dareme ya, libi asha ki imani. Waha wa muhim unugu kuritan ki sa iya dabi adisi kulli muhim bi utahay. The fourth suggestion is express their love language. So instead of blaming yourself, preaching, or fixing it for them, we must assure them that we continue to love them and want the best for them. This is where it's important for us to use your teen's love language. Remember, words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time, gifts, or acts of service. If they can feel your love even through their failure, uh, then they can take in the lesson and learn something positive from the experience. قلبك أفراد وحكم ذو حوين نقول تسو لو قد تشعرك إن هذا الفي عنه قدره مارك إنت عليه خلاص صار لهيد مس هذا اللي يرجع لهيد نقع مس إنا وحكست قصة من لهيد أفضلين لهيد ومهم وحوي نقع إنا تستيد شعيل وجف عن تستيد أصلاً إنه كبر توحاس مارك مهم وحوي نقع جاء إنه لو قد يفي عن لقوله الله هذا الله صنوع حكم ذو حوي هذا الفي عن تعبش هذا في عن وقت إن سلقته هذه ذي إن السيو إنه حلاس كقبته وحنا بقربه مهم وعي هذه مارك شعيل كاجه حلان أي هذه خلط قرار حتى حمان بدل ما خلط كولا صوب تأكل تأكل واحد درين سين شعيل كهجا. In Chapman's final suggestion is to remember that we can't control our teenager, but we can control many things. A wise counselor once told me that if we all that that if all we owe our teenager is food, water, and love, things like allowance and other privileges are extras. قلب كشانان ما حوي حسوسه. أروتي اللي يرى ذا ما إلى لين كنا ما كنت راجلين كنا لكن سو حيالي البدن بقى أنا إلى لين كنا مرك قف علم لها وحيري وحوي عنو جاي هذا سين كنا عنتو بيو يشعل وحيالي شكل أول عقد يقالون كحيالي شكل قفك أو إسكا نلاش معان وإسكا وحيال وقدري وياه مهم أهين. Gary Chapman uses an example that illustrates this principle. Let's say you catch your teenager smoking, blowing up and punishing him may work. But it's more likely going to cause resentment, and he will continue to smoke secretly. Okay, Gary Chapman, who he is, was caught by the so-called example of a hacker. Mila, who is a guy who died at the age of 17. He took a pill and he had a pill and he had a drug and he had a drug. He was just like a guy in a shaky suit, but he was just like a guy in a club suit. He had a cigarette and he had a cigarette. Instead, Chapman suggests saying something like, "I think you know it's my strong desire that you not smoke." My reason is smoking is so extremely harmful to your health. However, I know that I can't make that decision for you, but I care about you. So first, you must never smoke in my house. And second, until you decide to quit, I'm withholding your allowance and your driving privileges. I can't control your decision to smoke, but I'll not continue to contribute to your making decisions that harm you. مرك شاب من وحوي وذكر إنه شيء كاسنا وحوي عنو جاي مرك على توس سيجار عبي يوكله وحوي كل ذكرته وحوي ما في عنا سيجارك لكن سأذا ديسيجن يسكله أنا جانا كومد دي ذكره وأسمين كرتاع لكن سو حوي كم قيب قلي إنه شيء هذا مرك وارس وحوي عفمات كا ما في عنا أنا جانا أدبن كوتش على وكافكري عفمات كا 
مرك قلب كوره وحكم ذو حوي يقول لي سجالكم عبي كرتيد كلا بعد وحوي أنت إلا سجالك سكدا في سد أنا يكون مسني جاري أنا موذي سد كمان أقرأني أنا قارة كسيو مرك أنا يكون إلا علينا كرو ديسيجن كارو كمان جاري كارو لكن سكما عوني أو سجال عبي هذا أنا قارة كمسي سيني أو كمان كلام قلب قليو. In this example, the parent continues to express love, and they're not demanding that their teen do anything. They're demonstrating that freedom and responsibility go together, and their choices have consequences. The consequences uh, do the teaching while you continue to express, um, express love. In this case, this teenager will no longer receive the privileges of receiving allowance and driving while they're making a poor decision. مكان قرب الرأس فإذا لا ذا وحكم ذا وحوي وحيد سيسع عنقة هدوه حتى decision جارة أو حن إني وحيا ليال حن كإيمانيا أصلاً إنه الدري ما له بهني هاي مركب مهم وحوي أديك مركو عنقة جاري مركو سجار عبوق العنقة جاري جاي موجود كرو نقارن مسينيس نلاش كو حريسة مركب أصلاً والدري ميا مر إنتو لقن كان حن وذو إنه إسكي إلى لي وحيا ليش حن حن ووحبرشة وتاع علميا Raising teenagers to be healthy, responsible, mature adults is often the most difficult aspect of parenting. But it's vitally important. Uh, using Chapman's principles of love languages provides valuable tools. Marka wa hawi kuritan ka marka arut aliyara da kuruni wa muhim wa in siaf maada tabiat fi an aliyara in lagadiga muhim wa ye marka wa hawi qadaba laga halaya Chapman qabulu laya hai qadwalo o laga halaya alosha fi an yo kurinta arut silo kurin karo. In sum, in summary, use um, the first uh, rule is use your teen's love languages often. Second is never withhold your love as a punishment. Third, make fair rules for your um, uh, teens in, with your teen's involvement. And fourth, let the consequences do the correcting. These principles allow us to let go of the illusion that we can control our teens while maximizing our influence in their lives. And in return, our kids have their best chance to develop self-control, responsibility, and mature as they grow to be healthy adults. مرك قرب هذا أنا كهذا الني ومهم وحين إنه أقلاني وحين نجس سريع نفكر كا إن عروتين إلى لين كرنا لكن سعروتين ما إلى لين كرنا لكن سدبع عدو ضاء ينلاش وسامي وين بأكل لنا هاي مرك وحين بريس أو حواي عروتين إن إسبدل كسمين كرنا أي إسبدل كاسنا وحين نلاش ونقولي إن عرور أو أي قرن دمير له وإس إلى لين كرا دبع عدو في عنا له. Thanks for participating in our family empowerment workshop. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at our next workshop as we continue to explore ways to help our families grow.